Hey everybody, welcome back. Ah, mercenaries, that's why. Ah, uh, okay. Welcome back to more Resident Evil 4. Oh boy. I just don't like all mercenaries that much. Let us give you our power. Oh yeah. Plot. It's a cool feature, but in the end, it's not the best. <laughs> Actually, sure. to keep doing it. What, mercenaries mode? Yeah. Cause I mean it's the same stuff, but it's just in a one little area and you just gotta survive. Yeah. I'd rather just play the game. Become like, an expert. Story. Have you ever thought about speedering a game? You personally? Sure. What Why game? Not? What's a game? Um, hey, wake up. Uh. What's a game you think you know off the aye, back aye, of your aye. hand? Um, Other than Dark Souls, because I don't think you'll ever speed in Dark Souls. <laughs> what do you mean by that? I mean, you could try. I could. Hey, lower your microphone. It's up to your nose. Yeah, it is. <laughs> I think in Dark Souls, I just freaking goof around more. Hey, well, <laughs> I mean, every time I go through it, I basically like. If I forget what an item is, but I know where, like, where every item is, basically, but I sometimes, like, forget where they are, or what they are, or, like, the exact pathing to them or something, yeah. when it's in a more unfamiliar place to me. So I'll just go through all that just to remember. Just because yeah. I do that every time. I, I think every single series we've ever done. Also, Metal Gear Solid 3. That's a game you could speed on. I actually believe you could. Let me try that. Um, I think every series we've ever done, we've said speed run more than 12 times. <laughs> I actually still need to get back to that and play through it on European Extreme mode. Yeah. I thought I was bad. There's this guy named, like, so George something, and he's been playing, like, all the Metal Gear Solid, like, speedrunning all the Metal Gear Solid games, or playing them, like, just at a fast pace, not really speedrunning them at the moment. That's cool. But, uh, he, he, he makes these amazing videos about Metal Gear, like, his entire channel is based around... Luis, look out! His entire channel is based around Metal Gear. That's cool, me. Um, he's playing all the games in chronological order. So, they started to get freaking crazy with the quick times in Resident Evil 5. There I remember. So many. I remember when Chris. <laughs> I mean, it didn't take over the game, but you knew, like, what is this? Remember, remember when Chris fought a boulder? He, well, the boulder wasn't fighting back, so that's not exactly fighting. He was just punching a boulder. He was beating the shit out of it. He, he was really bullying was. a boulder. He punched it into lava to make a platform. Like, he couldn't push it normally, but punching it. No! How? Like, you gotta get it in there. <laughs> don't think that. <laughs> I don't think you, you thought before you spoke. You gotta get force into it. No, I don't man. think you thought before you spoke. You gotta you get that velocity. So you can push it. Me and my coworker have a... Well, I'll wait till we get to that character. The real best character <gasps> in the game. Him. Over here. Right. The merchant is the best character in all of the Resident Evil 4. Not my favorite, but he's still the best. I don't know really how that works out in my mind, but you know. Thank you. But, uh... I do like him. He's a great dude. I like him a lot. It's a good man. But, um... Me and my friend have a joke at work where... <laughs> if, uh... We are talking... Got some good things on sale, stranger. What are you buying? What are you selling? That's, like, the, the joke we do. What are you selling? Like we'll just go, like we'll just sneak up behind each other. <laughs> we'll just sneak up behind each other, put our arms over each other's shoulder. Like I'll put my arm over his shoulder and be like, "What are you buying? What are you selling?" <laughs> it's kind of weird when you do it like that. You know, it, it's just, but it's the joke. You know, it's like an inside work joke, and it, it's just kind of funny. 
Um. Yeah. No, but I mean, just like if you make two of the references at the same time, like two different freaking. Got something that might interest you. <laughs> what is he? He's just a merchant, man. He has to be. Good things on sale, stranger. God. Don't know if you noticed. Did you stranger. get a wall? But did you see the blue medallions hanging around in the village? Come back after you've shot ten or more of them. I've got a specialized gun I want you to try out. Did you get a ball? Uh, no, because I haven't been in the other area with him yet. Oh, yeah. What are you buying? <laughs> Thank you. Well, that was like all your money. <laughs> Treasure map? It's good to have. I don't need it. Do you remember where everything is? Mostly. Okay. At least good enough. Oh, you can't get the TMP oh, yet. Oh, freak. No, I can. I don't want the TMP. You have the rifle, though. What yeah, I do. Um, you have all that the treasure. I do. That I do. Is that all? <laughs> Sells for so Thank much. You. Yeah. Like, you really don't have to worry. As long as you Thank like you. see all the stuff, you don't really need to worry about <laughs> like money in the game. You have mm -hmm. enough to buy the. I know. The rifle. I was just doing this real quick. Oh, combining the... Yay. Do you... Is it only... Oh, you need three. Yep. Okay. Welcome. What are you buying? What are you buying? There he goes. Is that Thank you, mister. Yes. He is yes. awesome. I love the suitcase mechanic thing. Yeah, it's real good. Like, it's really good. Like, because like another Resident Evil game, you like six inventory slots. <sighs> yeah, I mean that was the uh. classic thing, and then in five you have nine. That's just a little like quick inventory slash your whole inventory. <laughs> <laughs> but it's cool though. Yeah. I just like For this a lot more. It's really cool. Because, like, it's way you actually see how you have to manage your things. Yeah. You actually have to manage them. What are you Whatever buying? way you need to. It's just, it's nice. It's nice so, to have all that. Compared to six. Are we going to go for the red nine? Yes. Is that Good the thing answer. that auto-kills? Good answer. Basically. Um, no, it just, it's the most damaging handgun, and I like it. Okay. And I just like the looks of it, and the did sound, I... and it's great. Did I ever tell you that recently I actually completely 100%ed Saints Row 3? <clears throat> no. I did everything. I've gotten every achievement. I've done everything. It took me a while, but I did. The upgraded guns time. in that game are ridiculous. <laughs> Come back any time. Like, the pistols, like, oh my god. Yeah. Like, the pistols, like, there's one that explodes on contact. Yeah. I, I think it's the first big game that I've actually 100%ed. Cool. And I'm very proud of it. I really am. There's, like, a few games I've 100%ed. Now you gotta go to, um... Saints Row 4. Yeah, that one. It's a little different story, because it's all, there's a lot more to do in the... Yep. And I don't think I'm actually gonna purposely 100% the game. I accidentally uh, got all the collectibles in Saints Row 3. Come on. Well, not accidentally, I just kind of ran into the collectibles as I went along and just like, alright. And then I ended up getting them all. I was like, why not do everything you can, can in the game? Yeah. So, there's that. America. Rules. Fuck yeah. <laughs> America rules. We call that a law. <laughs> That's right. We do. Oh, there he goes. You wasted a lot of ammo there. I have freaking plenty. Oh, you're right. Never mind. You have so much ammo in this game. This in, part's so like, easy, isn't it? In. 
in all of these newer Resident Evil games, you literally never have to worry about ammo. Oh god. Alright, that's fine. Yeah. So, do you want to talk about what we talked about outside? Uh, like what? Bob Ross, what would it be like with him having sex? He reproduces asexually. Okay, but if Once he... Once a year. It, even in death? Uh, yeah. Okay. But if he if he wasn't asexual, you know? <laughs> I'm saying associated. The trees of the world are his babies. I guess so. But, like, would he be, like, a little splash of white here? <laughs> yeah. That's how he does it. A little coat of red once a month. Yeah. This... <laughs> this color is very hard to come by. You can only get it once a month. Blew himself up. Unless she's on birth control. Alright, calm down. Not cool. Man. A little clear coat. <laughs> what? Are you talking about the placenta? <laughs> what? Or whatever the... What's on the baby when they come out. Alright, we're just going to stop that conversation here. It's weird, man. Babies are weird. Heard about it. Weird babies. That works. I'm still trying to think of that country song that I list I, I heard at work the other day. Yeah. Is it Take Me Home to Play? That's a good song. West Virginia. Yeah, that's giving me flashbacks to Kingsman 2, the Golden Circle. I know. It was so sad. It was so sad. If you guys never seen it, just it watch it. Sad. You'll understand. Good movie. Like, uh, I'm trying. Mm. Uh, modern day country song. Modern day, I walk the line, Johnny Cash. <laughs> Modern. Why don't you look up Appalachian Mountain songs? The mountain people. God, music. how did you feel about the bluegrass gun, uh, Gangnam Style? Uh, I don't really care too much for it. It was pretty good though. All right. Oh, oh boy. Trying to... All right. <clears throat> um, that, there it is. Okay. There what is? So there's a song called Blue Tacoma. Yeah. It's a country song. Is that a truck? By Russell Dickerson. Okay. <laughs> That's his name. Come on now. That's just ridiculous. Alright, I'm gonna read the lyrics. Alright. God damn it, ads. Uh, okay, so I'm gonna do that old uh, Google Translate thing after I read these lyrics. Uh, actually, you know what? We'll do that next time. Come on. Do it next time. Pause the game. Pause it. <laughs> Alright, see you guys next time.